This is no one from nowhere, and I am and you are a Spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about my own prison lyrics by Creed, addiction, and how it relates to you in the Holy Scriptures. First, a quote by Charlie Sheen. I said to stay off crack, and I still think that's pretty good advice, unless you can manage it socially. But not a lot of people can, you know. <laughs> All right, my own prison by Creed lyrics. Semi explained. A court is in session, a verdict is in. No appeal on the docket today, just my own sin. The walls are cold and pale, the cage made of steel. Screams fill the room. Alone I drop and kneel. Silence now the sound, my breath the only motion around. Demons cluttering around. My face showing no emotion, shackled by my sentence. Expecting no return. Here there is no penance. My skin begins to burn. It's talking about judgment day. Every kneel will be will kneel before Jesus Christ. And the silence he's talking about is in heaven for a half hour in Revelation. Um, so I held up my head up high, hiding hate that burns inside which only feel, fuels their selfish pride. And I said, oh, all held captive out from the sun, a sun that shines on only some. We the meek are all in one. He's talking about the parable of the farmer's field and also the whole body of Christ. I heard a thunder in the distance, see a vision of a cross. I feel the pain that was given on that sad day of loss. A, a lion roars in the darkness, only he holds the key. A light to free me from my burden and grant me life eternally. He's talking about Jesus Christ. He has the keys to death and Hades. So, um, should have been dead on a Sunday morning, banging my head. No time for morning, ain't got no time. He thought he wasn't going to be entered into the kingdom of heaven, but he did, and he got life eternally. I cry out to God, seeking only his decision. Gabriel stands and confirms, I've created my own prison. I cry out to God, seeking only his decision. Gabriel confirms and stands, and I've created my own prison. Talking about, you're creating your own prison. If you believe in God and Jesus Christ, that's all you need. But you still are a temple of God. But Matthew 13.49 says it this way. This is the way it will be at the end of the world. The angels will come and separate wicked people from the righteous. Gabriel is the angel for strength that gives revelations to prophets. Acts 16.25. This is about uh, Paul and his prison. He healed a fortune teller and he got thrown in prison in Rome. Around midnight Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly there was a massive earth earthquake and the prison was shaken to its foundations. All the doors were immediately flew open and the chains of every prisoner flew off. The jailer woke up to see the prisoner prison doors wide open. He assumed the prisoners had escaped so he drew a sword to kill himself. But Paul shouted to him, stop, don't kill yourself, we are all here. Addiction of any kind can be a self-inflicted prison. Paul didn't leave because he was already free in Jesus Christ. That's kind of the, the hidden message. He was free in Jesus Christ. And the jailer was so upset with anxiety that he's going to commit suicide so he saved his life. Jesus Christ is free. It's eternal gift of freedom. It's love, peace, and freedom. You are a spirit of the Most High God. He breathed the breath of life into you. Satan is God of this world based on a lie in Genesis 3.3. You are very good. At the mark of six days, God said that you are very good, and he loves you, and so do I. Free yourself from sin and and addiction. I love you and so does God in Jesus name.